Zero. There are no video tracks in Final Cut Pro. Instead, Final Cut uses lanes and I'll show you how many. Then I'll share five tools to organize your video tracks. And at the end, I'll share my number one trick for moving clips around without messing up the timing. Let's fast track this sucker. So Final Cut Pro does not use tracks. Instead, it uses lanes. And as far as I know, you can have unlimited number of lanes. A few years ago, a couple guys tried to test out the limit. They added 1400 lanes or tracks in Final Cut Pro and then they stopped. But I think you can keep going. Let's take a look at the tracks or lanes in Final Cut Pro. This is the main lane right here in the center. It's called the magnetic timeline. And then you can add some lanes or tracks above it. First, I'll select a clip I wanna add and I'll move my playhead and I'll press Q and it will attach that in another lane above the video. I can also drag and drop a video or a clip into a new lane or into the magnetic lane. I can also duplicate a clip. So I'll hold down option and click and drag up on this and it creates a new copy of that clip. And now I can move it around and I can move it into this lane up here. I kind of have three tracks of video right here. One, two, three. Now, before I get into how to organize and use all these different lanes and make it look nice, I wanna show you how to adjust the appearance of your timeline and the different lanes or video tracks. Click on this little button over here to adjust the appearance of your timeline. This first slider will zoom out or in and if you press Shift Z, it will zoom out to fit your project in the timeline. We can also change our display options. We can show only audio or only video. We can also go minimal here and just see bars for the different clips. I like a little mix of both. So I'm gonna click on this one and I can see video and audio. This slider changes the clip height. I can get real big or real tiny. We'll go about the middle. Here I can say show the clip names or not. Right now it has the clip names and I can turn them off. If I have a multi-cam clip, I can show the angles and I can also show the rolls and the lane headers. Both of those coming up in just a minute. The main timeline has some really powerful magnetic features and you can get those outside of the primary storyline. You can create a new storyline. So you can do that by selecting two or more clips above the storyline and then go up here to clip and select create storyline or press command G and it will create this storyline, puts a box around it with the clips. Now, if you have any space in between your clips when you create it, it will add this gap here. You can also drag and touch a clip to another clip while holding down G and it will create a storyline. I can also do the same with audio. I'll hold down G and I'll click and drag that to touch another audio clip. And now I have another storyline down here with audio in it. The storylines are awesome because now we have the power of the magnetic timeline, but in another storyline. I can move clips around, so it will automatically adjust it to make room and fit. I can trim just like I would in the magnetic timeline and the storyline will adjust. I can also add a transition in the storyline. Whoa! I can move my storyline around by clicking on the gray box around the clips and then dragging it. If I want to break this storyline apart, I just select it, go up to clip, and select break apart clip items or press shift command G and it breaks them apart. I can also drag and drop it to the primary storyline to break it apart. Hey, I feel like we've got a good thing going here. I feel like you're enjoying this video and I'm having a great time making it. If so, will you please give it a thumbs up so other people will see it? Thanks, and coming up, I'm gonna show you how to move clips around without messing up the timing. But first, I wanna show you how to use the video tracks or lanes in Final Cut Pro. On the left-hand side, click on index then click on roles. Final Cut Pro comes with five default roles built in. Titles and video, and then dialogue, effects, and music. And then it also comes with these lanes. We can use the roles and lanes to organize our timeline and work more efficiently. Turn on the audio lanes by clicking on this button, and you'll notice that all the different audio was put into different sections. So all of my dialogue is right here. All of my sound effects are in this one. And then my music is in here. And you can see it labeled right here, music, effects, dialogue. And if I duplicate this effect, you'll notice, and I just move it anywhere, it's still in this lane. Without the lanes turned on, everything's kind of smashed together. It can become kind of confusing, especially if you have a lot of different audio elements. When you import, Final Cut Pro automatically assigns roles to your videos and to your images. An image is considered a video for the role. And then it will also analyze your audio, automatically assign dialogue, effects, or music to it. You can change its role by selecting it, right click on it, and select assign audio roles. So this one's a sound effect. I could turn it into music or dialogue, and I can use these shortcuts here as well to quickly do it. Let's turn it into music. You'll notice that it changed the color and it moved it down into the proper lane. I'm gonna undo that for now. You can also do the same for video. I'll select a video clip, I'll right click on it and I'll assign video roles. I can turn it into a title or video and I can use these shortcuts. We can also edit our roles or make custom ones. Click on edit roles 
it will open up this roles window. You can change the color of these roles. You can also add sub roles to them. So for example, maybe you have some dialogue and you have different actors, right? Or people, different people talking. So you can add sub roles for each person. You can change the names of those by double clicking on them and adding your new name. You can't change the names of these default roles that come with Final Cut Pro, but you can add a custom role. Let's add a new video role. I'll click here and I'll add the name. We'll call it images and let's add a sub role. We'll call, we can add some logos or maybe pictures. And if I want to delete a role, I just click on this minus button right here to remove it. And you can also make custom audio roles. And when you're done making all your changes, just click on apply. Let's look at some of the options in here. If I click on one of these roles, you'll notice it highlights it in the timeline. I can also turn it off by unchecking it. So now all my clips that are labeled video are now black and white and they do not show up in the video. I can rearrange the order of these as well. Let's say I want the effects up here. I can just drag it and drop it above dialog. Let's turn off audio lanes and I can turn on the audio lanes for each role independently. Let's say I just want my music to be in a lane. I can click on that. Let's turn them all back on. I can use this button here to expand and see the sub roles. This little circle allows me to focus on a certain role. If I click it, all the other audio gets put down into these thin little bars and my dialogue is the focus. I can do the same for effects or music. Have you ever tried to move a clip in Final Cut Pro and everything connected with it goes with it and then it throws off the timing? Well, check out this sweet move. You're gonna love it. When you go to move something, hold down the Grav key. It's right below the escape key. Notice this little orange icon that comes up. Now when I go to move that clip in the timeline, the clip moves, but notice all the connected clips stayed right where they were. Now, what if I want to change the in and out points? I'll press T and I can click and drag on my clip here to change when the clip starts and ends, but the connected clips are all moving. No, I don't want that. All you gotta do is hold down that Grav key and now click and drag. I can change my in and out points and the timing stays intact, yes! You can also change where your clips are connected. This title is connected right here. And so all I have to do is hold down Option Command and then click on the clip I want to change the connected point to. So I'll hold down Option Command and I'm gonna click right here and the connection changed to this spot. I can do the same for audio. Let's change it to here. Click and it changes. So there you have it. Final Cut Pro doesn't use video tracks, it uses lanes, and you can put as many in there as you want. Now, sometimes the magnetic timeline can be confusing and it might mess you up. Don't worry, I put together a video and in it, I go over the eight tools you need in order to master the magnetic timeline. Click here to check it out. I have a pretty magnetic personality, so you should watch it. <laughs>